Imagine the scene. Deep space, a void so vast that even light takes eons to cross it. Yet out of that dark sea emerges a stranger. It slips quietly into our solar system, riding the unseen currents of galactic motion. Telescopes on Earth catch it only by chance, a faint glimmer against the backdrop of infinity, a traveller that should not have been noticed at all. And yet, here it is, brightening, shifting, revealing clues that place it among the most enigmatic visitors ever recorded. This is the story of Three-Eye Atlas, an interstellar wanderer that might not be what it first appears. The latest measurements suggest it is behaving oddly, almost unnervingly, with hints that it may be slowing down or stabilizing itself against forces that should naturally alter its path. In the silence of space, such a whisper of anomaly has stirred debates that touch on the possibility of technology, control, and deliberate concealment. From the moment it was first spotted, astronomers understood that Three-I Atlas was different. Our solar system is occasionally graced with comets that plunge inward from the far reaches of the Oort cloud, their tails blazing as they brush past the sun. But this one was moving too fast, its orbit shaped not by the grip of our star, but by the cold sweep of interstellar trajectories. Like Oumuamua before it and Borisov after, Three-Eye Atlas came from elsewhere, a true alien object formed under conditions we can only guess. Yet unlike its predecessors, this one carried weight, literally. It was massive, larger than most interstellar objects we could have hoped to detect, and its behavior did not quite fit the established rules. Ordinary comets give themselves away with subtle deviations. As ice boils off their surfaces, jets of vapor and dust act like miniature thrusters, nudging them off course. Predicting their paths requires constant updates to account for these outgassing effects. With Three-Eye Atlas, those nudges were almost non-existent. Observers expected to see it pushed this way and that by its activity, but instead it glided through space with an almost eerie steadiness. Despite venting hundreds of kilograms of material every second, its orbit remained nearly pure, as if untouched by the very physics that govern every other comet. For a natural body, that would mean an astonishingly high mass, billions of tons, suggesting a nucleus several kilometers wide. For something unnatural, it would imply control, stabilization, perhaps even intention. The strangeness deepened when astronomers turned the James Webb Space Telescope toward it. They found the coma saturated with carbon dioxide, a composition that placed it among the most extreme comets ever seen. There was water vapour, too, along with dust and icy grains, but the balance was skewed in ways unfamiliar to solar system science. Ultraviolet measurements confirmed the breakdown of water molecules, showing that sublimation was indeed happening, but at distances where water ice usually sleeps frozen solid. The comet was alive with activity at the wrong time and in the wrong way, adding to the growing sense that it was unlike anything catalogued before. And then came the brightness shifts. Between May and June of 2025, its glow increased fivefold, far more than simple sunlight scattering could explain. Models had predicted perhaps a gentle rise of one and a half times. Instead, Three-Eye Atlas leapt in brilliance as though reacting to something invisible. Was it a sudden outburst of volatile gases, a vent opening to space, or was it something more deliberate, an adjustment, a maneuver disguised as natural change? No single telescope caught an artificial flash, no spectrum revealed alien alloys, but the gap between prediction and reality remained stark. The paradox of its motion became the defining enigma. Careful tracking showed that its deviations from a purely gravitational orbit were less than 15 metres per day squared, vanishingly small compared to other active comets. In raw terms, its trajectory shifted by barely a kilometre and a half each day, a stability so precise it bordered on unnatural. Interstellar Borisov had danced far more under the influence of its own jets. Hal Bopp, legendary in its brilliance, swerved under non-gravitational effects an order of magnitude stronger. Against this backdrop, Three-Eye Atlas was a rock among feathers, unyielding to the very forces that should have shaped it. Some astronomers insist this is only mass at work. A comet so large and dense could shrug off the recoil of its own outgassing. Yet the numbers force uncomfortable conclusions. Based on mass loss rates measured by Webb, 
the minimum mass of the nucleus had to exceed 33 billion tons. That places it among the giants, far bigger than most interstellar wanderers could reasonably be expected to be. Detection biases mean we should have seen countless small ones before spotting such a colossus. Instead, here it is, as if delivered to us. The odds seem improbable, if not deliberate. Speculation naturally turns to intent. Some whisper that the object could be stabilized by technology, perhaps by systems that counteract the push of outgassing or use the sun's gravity in ways we have not yet imagined. The orbit adds fuel to the speculation. Its path lies nearly along the plane of the Earth's orbit, deviating by only about five degrees. At its closest, it will slip behind the sun relative to Earth, hidden in glare at the very moment it passes perihelion. To skeptics, this is coincidence, an accident of celestial mechanics. To others, it is strategy, a way to use the sun as cover, to maneuver unseen, to conceal its brightest and most active phase. If one wanted to approach stealthily, there could hardly be a better path. The whispers grow louder when chemistry enters the discussion. Among the emissions recorded was nickel without iron, a ratio almost unheard of in natural comets. Some scientists propose exotic natural sources, perhaps unusual formation conditions in a far-off star system. But others quietly ask whether this anomaly is a trace of construction, engineered materials evaporating into space, leaving behind a chemical signature alien to our expectations. It is not proof, but it is an oddity, and in mysteries like this, oddities pile up. Still, mainstream astronomy clings to the natural explanation. To most, 3i Atlas is a comet, albeit a very strange one. The high carbon dioxide content might simply reflect its birthplace in an environment rich in that compound. The faint water sublimation at unexpected distances could be a quirk of its crust. The nickel anomaly might be explained by some process yet undiscovered. Science bends toward the mundane until the extraordinary is undeniable. But even so, the unease lingers because the numbers resist easy dismissal. If 3i Atlas is natural, it forces us to rethink what interstellar debris looks like. Perhaps our galaxy teems with massive ice and rock giants, and we have simply been blind until now. If it is not natural, the implications defy measure. A craft stabilized against forces we barely perceive, gliding silently through our system, its closest approach carefully veiled by solar light, it would mean we are not alone, and that whoever sent it is watching quietly. And yet, despite the wonder and fear it inspires, the object has given us no direct answers. It sails onward, indifferent to speculation, leaving only data points and mystery in its wake. The question of whether it is slowing down may be less important than why it is so steady. In the stillness of that path lies either the heaviest comet ever to wander from the stars or the most audacious probe humanity has ever glimpsed. The true test of 3i Atlas may come in the days ahead. On the 3rd of October 2025, it will pass within reach of Mars, sliding through the solar system at a distance close enough for orbiters to observe. The Red Planet has become humanity's outpost for exploration, with machines in orbit and rovers on the ground that constantly scan its skies. If 3i Atlas passes within their gaze, the data could be revelatory. We may gain sharper images of its nucleus, more precise spectra of its coma, and perhaps direct confirmation of its size and activity. Yet even this close pass holds its own mystery. Its alignment means that for much of this encounter, Earth's telescopes will be blinded by solar glare, leaving the best vantage point to machines we cannot command to look. If a veil were to be drawn deliberately, one could hardly have arranged it better. Beyond Mars, projections show it may pass near Jupiter, another opportunity for observation. There, the giant planet's gravity could act as a magnifying glass, bending trajectories and perhaps offering a chance to probe the object's true mass more precisely. But it could also act as a diversion, pulling the visitor into new paths that hide it further still. For now, its projected course seems straightforward, but every fresh calculation adds tiny uncertainties, as though the object itself resists perfect prediction. Whether this is due to complex natural physics or something more controlled remains the dividing line between camps of thought. The absence of decisive proof is what makes the mystery so compelling. 
Had 3i Atlas displayed an unmistakable artificial beacon, the debate would be over. Had it emitted radio signals or shown a metallic spectrum, the case would be closed. Instead, what we are left with is ambiguity, and in that ambiguity is room for both scientific caution and speculative wonder. This is how mysteries persist, not with overwhelming evidence, but with the persistent refusal of reality to settle neatly into one category or another. Every element of 3i Atlas seems to stand at a threshold. Its size is within the range of natural comets, but near the extreme. Its chemistry is explainable, but rare. Its brightness variations are unusual, but not wholly unprecedented. Its trajectory is consistent with gravity, yet strangely resistant to small perturbations. At each turn, the ordinary explanation is possible, but so is the extraordinary. It is precisely this balancing act that fuels whispers about spacecraft, probes and surveillance. The natural explanation does not banish the extraordinary, it merely delays it, leaving the possibility alive in the margins. The echoes of past interstellar visitors cannot be ignored. When Oumuamua streaked past in 2017, its thin elongated shape and inexplicable acceleration drew similar speculation. Borisov in 2019 seemed more conventional, a true comet with activity that matched expectations. But 3i Atlas is neither. It straddles the line, larger than Borisov, steadier than Oumuamua, stranger than either. Taken together, these three form a sequence of riddles, each sharpening the question of what lies beyond the solar system and what might wander in. One might call them warnings or invitations, depending on how one chooses to see the universe. Some researchers have even dared to suggest that if 3i Atlas is controlled, it is not a craft in the conventional sense, but something older, perhaps a probe drifting for millennia, set adrift by civilizations we can scarcely imagine. Its mass and scale would make it robust enough to endure ages of travel. Its apparent stability could be the product of ancient engineering, systems designed to hold a path through the chaos of galactic motion. If that is true, then it is less a vehicle than a relic, a monument of technology preserved by design rather than chance. Others reach for more exotic theories still. Could it be a disguised arc of data, a storehouse drifting from star to star, waiting for civilizations to stumble across it? Could it be a fragment of a world shattered and engineered into a vessel? Or could it be natural after all, its strangeness nothing more than a reflection of our ignorance? The mystery remains open, and in that openness lies both excitement and dread. As October approaches, anticipation builds. For some, the Mars Pass is nothing more than an opportunity to refine our models of cometary physics. For others, it is the moment when the façade may crack, when instruments will reveal something that cannot be explained away. And for still others, it is a test of perception itself, a reminder that not all answers arrive neatly tied, that sometimes the universe forces us to live with uncertainty. Yet there is one fact that no one disputes. 3i Atlas should not exist in the way it does. Whether natural or artificial, comet or craft, it is an outlier, a body that pushes against the boundaries of what we thought possible. It has reminded us that the universe is vast enough to surprise, subtle enough to conceal, and strange enough to keep us questioning. So we watch, we wait, and we wonder. The visitor sails on, silent, indifferent to our hopes and fears, carrying with it either the secrets of distant star systems or the fingerprints of an intelligence we have yet to recognize. In either case, it is a messenger, and its message is simple. We do not yet know enough. The cosmos is deeper, stranger, and more filled with possibilities than we have allowed ourselves to believe. For those who crave discovery, the mystery of Three Eye Atlas is not a dead end, but an invitation. Every unanswered question is a doorway, every anomaly a spark of curiosity. Whether it proves to be natural or not, it forces us to look harder, think deeper, and prepare for answers we may not expect. And if, by chance, it is something more, if in its silence there is a design, if in its steadiness there is intention, then we are already living in the era of first contact. Though it comes not with a handshake or a transmission, but with the quiet glide of a stranger through our skies. That possibility alone makes this moment historic. It is why we must keep watching, keep questioning, and keep imagining. And it is why you, right now, can help keep the conversation alive. Like share, and subscribe, and tap.
that hype icon to help push this video into a wider audience. The more people who know about 3i Atlas, the more eyes will turn skyward, and the stronger the call will be for answers. Because sometimes the universe whispers its secrets not to the few, but to the many who dare to listen.